Hi everyone and welcome back to another week of Tiny Tots. My name is Amanda and I'm with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we are learning about the letter T. T is for tiger. Here are some book recommendations all about tigers. This one's called Tiger vs. Nightmare by Emily Tetri. This is a nonfiction book from National Geographic Kids called Tigers. And this is another nonfiction book called Big Cats. All of these books can be found at the Rapid City Public Library. They can also be put on hold by logging into your account at rapidcitylibrary.org. We have a brand new website and I encourage you to check it out. Let's practice writing the letter T. To write the big letter T, first we start at the top line and draw a straight line down to the bottom line. Then we draw another line across the top. If you notice your child starting at the bottom, redirect them to start at the top. To write the little t, start at the top and draw a straight line down to the bottom. Then go across the middle line. If your child isn't writing yet, there are a lot of other ways to work on fine motor skills. Try making the letter T with Play-Doh or with finger paint or even water. We've learned what the big letter T looks like and we've learned what the little T looks like. But what words begin with the letter T? T makes the sound T and T, -t, -t is for table. T is for tiger. T is for tooth. See those T's? T is for turkey. T, -t turkey. And T is for turtle. week's take and make kit you should have received a paper plate, orange tissue paper, two ears, a nose and a mouth, two eyes, a black piece of construction paper, and a glue sponge. Step one, have your child rip pieces of orange tissue paper for the face. If you find that your child is ripping small pieces off like this, one way to do this is to rip a strip and then have the child rip pieces from that strip. Step two, dab each piece onto the glue sponge and stick it to the paper plate. This glue sponge is reusable. It's got glue inside of it and as it dries out or if it gets used a lot, you can add more glue. Just keep the lid on it and it is reusable. How your child will use this is they take the tissue paper, they dab it into the glue sponge, and it puts glue on the tissue paper. Then they can dab it onto the plate. They will continue this until they have the whole plate covered. Step three, draw five lines on the rectangle black paper and have your child practice cutting on those lines for the tiger stripes. Once they are cut, they should look like this. Step four, make the face by dabbing the eyes, stripes, and mouth onto the glue sponge and placing them on the plate. Step five, using the glue sponge, attach the ears to the top of the tiger. If they don't stick, it just means it needs more glue. Isn't
Isn't your tiger so adorable? Let him dry and then show off your masterpiece. Thank you for learning all about the letter T today. Follow along next week as we learn about the letter U. See you later.